we're going to examine in this video is how we can manipulate or modify existing notes in our file. A common practice to speed things up is instead of placing a new note each time, copy an existing note and maybe edit the text. Well, in this case, we've got text here, a note, imported borrow. This is a note in MicroStation. It is associated to the green shape over here. And what we want to do is copy it. Now, a common problem people have is when they go to copy it, and they'll use the copy element tool, they'll only select the note. If you do that, then you will only get the note in the leader line. So that's not what we want. So when you go about copying, what you want to make sure you do is select both the leader line and the note. So I'm going to hold the left button down, dragging it up, crossing both. Then I'm going to select it by the leader line here, and I'm going to place the copy over here. Now when I do that, you're going to notice that the leader line changes to a thick dash line. That's MicroStation's way of telling you that the association has been broken. That can be remedied very quickly by using the Modify Element tool, selecting the note, and resnapping it to that point. And now it's associated. So if I was to move this shape, you'll see that the leader line goes with it. I'm going to do an undo. We also can move a note, and you can do that without having to select both the leader line and the note. So if I went to my Move Element tool, and I wanted to move this note, when I go to grab it by the leader line, if I move it down here, this often confuses people. They see that, and they think that it's become disassociated from the leader line. It's not. It's all there. So if I just move my cursor down and do a data, you can see the note will go with it. And the arrowhead and everything rotates with it. So that can be very helpful there.